Hey everyone, so today's video is a really exciting one. I basically went through my collection and sort of pulled out products to create my fantasy minimalist collection. And I did a video kind of similar to this a while back where I chose one product from each category, but this isn't necessarily going to be one product from each category. Some categories have a couple, but the point is just to obviously create my fantasy minimalist collection. And over the past couple of years, I have been moving towards a more minimalist collection. I don't think my collection will ever truly be really minimalistic, but the point of this is just to narrow down my collection and see what I really, really love. And if I had to have a minimal collection, this is probably most of the products that I would choose to keep. So I'm just gonna go in order of how I would apply my makeup. So starting with primer, I would definitely have to have some sort of hydrating primer. And one of the only ones that I have in my collection right now is actually this Milani Supercharged Dewy Primer. This is pretty new to my collection. I did recently get this, so I haven't used it too much, but it's pretty much like any other hydrating primer. I like that it gives a little bit of that more dewy glow to my skin, but it also hydrates a little bit before I apply my makeup. So this isn't necessarily my favorite hydrating primer, but I do want to try some more out, obviously to decide what my favorite one is. I feel like I haven't tried too many, but I would definitely have to have some sort of hydrating primer in my collection. And obviously I would only need one at a time. The next product would be concealer. For that, I chose my Oma Stay Woke Concealer. Mine is in the shade White Pearl T2, and I really, really love this concealer. This has been my favorite concealer for a while now, and I'm actually only down to two concealers in my collection, so there are a ton of other concealers I want to try out. But this has been my favorite, and I see this staying my favorite for a very, very long time. So if this was the only concealer that I had in my collection, I wouldn't really be mad about it. I actually probably would prefer this over any other concealer. I don't know if I would find one that I like better. So this is kind of like my holy grail concealer. So this one would definitely have to be in my collection. I feel like I would only need one. This is sort of that... In between where you can get a lighter coverage if you apply less but you can also get a pretty full coverage if you build it up so i feel like this is perfect for just anything i would need similar to this foundation for my one foundation i did only choose one foundation this is the oma say what weightless soft matte hydrating foundation and again this is my favorite foundation in my collection right now this is a little bit more higher coverage than i would normally go for and i actually haven't been wearing any foundation lately so foundation is a product I feel like I wouldn't necessarily need in my collection, but I would like to have one just for those special occasions when I'm doing a more full glam type of look. So I feel like this was the this would be the one that I would have in my collection. You can get a little bit of a lighter coverage look with this. So I like that I can kind of sheer this out. Obviously it's not gonna be super sheer, but I also really, really love the finish of this and the way it looks and wears on my skin. So this would definitely be the one foundation I would have in my collection. I may also have to have a more lightweight sort of skin tint type of foundation product as well, but I haven't found one that I really, really love. So I didn't include any of those in this video. Next for powders, recently I haven't been wearing any face powder. I've just been leaving my face not set but especially now that we're getting into summer so it's obviously getting hotter i would like to have some kind of mattifying primer in my collection so this is the catrice prime fine mattifying powder and i find this to be really great just to mattify usually under my eyes to set my under eyes and also the center of my face to mattify where i tend to get oily but generally I don't like to use too much powder, so I really ju would just use this in the center of my face. But I do really, really love this powder and it's super inexpensive. And then I would also have to have some kind of finishing powder, even though this is sort of an extra step, I do really love to be glowy. So I actually chose this Jacqueline Cosmetics finishing powder. This is their Luminous Powder in the shade Brighten Up. So this can be pretty intense. I apply it with a super fluffy brush to basically use obviously as a finishing powder. So after I apply my mattifying powder, I'll usually just swipe this across my cheeks 
and the perimeter of my face to give that sort of glow and give that life back to my face. So I really, really love this. And what I like about this as well is you can build it up to be a really, really subtle highlight. So this can get intense if you build it up a lot, but for a finishing powder, I like to use a really, really fluffy brush just to get that light dusting of it. And it looks so beautiful on the face. So this is kind of a multitasker product. It, I use it as a finishing powder, but I can also use it as a really, really subtle highlight if I just want that glow from within look. Next we have bronzers and some of these were harder to choose out than I thought they were going to be. For my first bronzer slash contour type of powder, I chose my Milani Silky Matte Bronzing Powder and this is more of a cool tone bronzer. It sort of has that neutral undertone so I find that I can use this almost as a contour more to sculpt the cheeks. So I also wanted to choose another bronzer that was a little bit warmer. So I chose my Ofra bronzer in the shade River. This was their collaboration with Samantha March. And the reason I specifically chose this one is, first of all, it's a little bit warmer than the Milani bronzer slash contour. So this is used more as a bronzer to warm up the face. This also has two sides to it. So it has a more glowy side and it also has a more matte side. So I like that I can get multiple different looks out of this. If I want a really, really glowy cheek, I could just use the bronzer almost as like a topper maybe to top with this or put this on first and then top it with this glowy bronzer or I can use the matte side if I just want a more matte look or mix them together to get a nice satin finish so I like the sort of versatility that this provides and I think these two together would be the perfect combo and all the bronzer slash contour that I would need in my collection. I don't really specifically contour, like go in with a separate contour powder to sculpt my cheeks, but I do sometimes like a little bit of a cooler bronzing powder to give more definition to my cheeks. So I think these two would be the perfect duo to have in my collection for bronzers. Next we have highlighters. So I also chose out my Ofra highlighter again their collaboration with samantha march in the shade start inspired so this has a little bit of a more pinky highlight and then a more champagne highlight so again i like that versatility where i can get just a pink highlight just a more champagne icy highlight or mix them together to get sort of that mixture but this highlighter is also super intense. Obviously, Ofra is known for that. So that is also why I chose my Jaclyn Cosmetics sort of finishing powder. And I could also use this as a really subtle highlight if I wanted that subtle effect and I didn't want to go for that super intense highlight that the Ofra one provides. And then of course I had to have some cream highlighting options. So I chose out my RMS Beauty Living Luminizer Guo glow quad i couldn't imagine not having this in my collection and there's actually a bronzer in here too so this sort of gives me that option of the cream bronzer as well which is another reason why i specifically chose this but i also have three cream highlighting options and obviously you get more of a champagne more of just a clear sort of iridescent sheer glow shade and then more of a pinky highlight so i have my cream highlighting options in here and also a cream bronzer option and i really really love this product this is probably one of my favorite products in my collection especially for creams now getting into blushes i feel like this category was easier to pick out than others but still difficult so again i had to include my ofra blush the collaboration with samantha march in the shade chiclet i just love these products because they have that versatility of having the slip pan in them so you can get the matte look and the glowy look or mix them together for sort of in between really pretty satin finish so that is why i feel like i chose all these products out just for the versatility that it provides obviously if i have a more minimalist collection i want products that are going to be a little bit more versatile so i would definitely have to have this one in my collection and then similar to that i also chose out my cover effects monochromatic blush duo in the shade mojave mauve and this is that same sort of concept where it's a matte shade and then a shimmery shade so I can use this as a blush topper or mix them together. And this one is a lot more pinky. So the Ofra one is sort of my more peachy option. And then the Cover FX is my more pinky option. So this is obviously more cool tone. And then this one's a little bit more warm. So I like having those options, obviously, for the different types of looks that I create. And then 
for cream blushes because I definitely had to have some cream options. I couldn't live without my Flower Beauty Blush Bomb. This is in the shade Cinnamon specifically. I really, really love the shade. It's a nice sort of almost that sunburn effect where it's like a terracotta brownie sort of shade. So I definitely had to have a shade like this in my collection. And out of all the other blushes that I chose, there's really nothing like this, which brings me to my last sort of blush option, which is actually the Shanixo and BH Cosmetics palette. And this shade comes with an eyeshadow palette, which I will be talking about later when we get to eyeshadows, because I will be obviously having this in my minimal collection so it will count as eyeshadows as well but on the other side is lip products actually and i use these as cream blushes and they work really well as cream blushes i don't really even use them on my lips ever but i love the variety of here to use these as cream blushes i was very very tempted to purchase some blushes because I didn't have very many cream blushes in my collection. I am on a no buy this year, if you didn't know that. So this sort of cured my temptation to purchase some cream blushes. And I just love all of the options I have in here. I really have everything I need, kind of with the exception of this sort of cinnamony, sun-kissed, burnt looking blush. So that is why I had to include the Flower Beauty Blush Bomb as well. But this really gives me everything I need for cream blushes, so I definitely had to include this palette. Now getting into eyeshadows, you guys may guess which shadows I chose, but I had to include my Kaja little trio. This is in the shade Toasted Caramel, and these are all shimmery, more lid topper type of shades, which are my favorite types of shadows, so I really couldn't live without this little trio. And I really, really love all the shades in here. I can create one look out of just this, even though there's no mattes in here, but that is why I have my other palettes to include some mattes. So obviously, we also have, going back to the Shanex O palette, this really nice neutral palette and selection of colors. I feel like I would just use this mainly for the lip products that I use as cream blushes. And I wouldn't dip much into these eyeshadows, which is what I have been doing recently. So I feel like this is a really great neutral palette, but you'll see the eyeshadow palettes I also chose out. So I chose my ABH and Jackie Aina palette. This is like my favorite, more colorful rainbow sort of palette, even though it's not your traditional rainbow. There are some really beautiful shades in here, more colorful shades to play with. You can also get a neutral look out of here, but you can get so many fun looks. And I find this to be just so inspiring. I really, really love this palette. So this is my sort of colorful palette that I would have to have in my collection. And then the last eyeshadow palette I would just have to have in my collection, especially if I only have a couple. I find that why not splurge and spend my money on a Pat McGrath Mothership palette. This is a stunning palette. This is the original Divine Rose and I really, really love all of the shades in here, which I think is why it makes it worth it to me is because I would really use every single shade in here and get a ton of use out of this. This is also a more neutral palette but it has more of those rosy tones. You can sort of go out of your comfort zone a little bit with color. There's like this peachy pink duochrome color. And obviously I have the ABH Jackie Aina palette to pair with it. And this is more of a sort of rosy neutral palette, which I really, really love those types of shades. So this would definitely be one that I would need to have in my collection. And I think this one is also just so special. Also comparing, like I said, the Pat McGrath palette is a little bit more rosy, whereas the BH Cosmetics palette has more of those warm tones. So I have those warm tones option, warm tone options in here if I want to do a look like that. Now I didn't include any mascaras in this video just because I don't really have a holy grail mascara. Obviously I would only need one mascara in my collection at a time. So I found that it wasn't really necessary to choose one out and I haven't found one that I really, really love. But for brow products, I would definitely have to have some kind of micro brow pencil. So this is the NYX micro brow pencil. And I really, really love this. This is one of my favorite ones that I have found. There's a ton out there similar to this, but this is just one of my favorites. And I also really, really love the e.l.f. Brow Gel. This is the Wow Brow Gel. And this is one of my favorite brow gels that I have tried. So I would definitely stick with this one. And it's only like three or $4, I think. So it's a really good deal. 
So these would be my two sort of necessary brow products that I have to have in my collection. And then moving on to lip products. First, I wanted to choose out one lip liner. So I knew I only needed one lip liner really to go with all of my other lip products. So I actually chose the Catrice Long Lasting Lip Pencil in the shade Vintage Rose. This is actually in my project pan. And it's just a really perfect nude shade. It's a pretty light nude. It's almost the same shade as my lips. So I find that this would go with pretty much every single lip color. So I found that this was the perfect one to keep in my collection. I guess I will swatch out the lip colors for you guys just so you can see them all together. So that is that lip pencil right there. And then next for a lipstick, I chose my Oma Beauty lipstick in the shade Coretta. This is probably my favorite favorite lipstick in my collection, at least one of my favorites. It's more of that pinky mauve shade and it's sort of a nude, but also a little bit colorful. It's really not too colorful. I mostly only wear nudes, so I pretty much only picked out nude lips because I find I just don't reach for any colorful lips, even if I have them in my collection. The next product is a soft matte lip cream from NYX. This one is in the shade Zurich. This is, I think my favorite shade, obviously why I chose it to keep in my collection if I had to have a more minimal makeup collection. And this one is a lot more peachy. So you have the Oma one is a little bit more cool tone mauve-y and this NYX liquid lipstick is a little bit of that peachier option. And then I had to have some type of tinted lip balm and I actually chose my Rare Beauty Dewy Lip Balm in the shade Thankful. This is just a little mini size, but I really, really love this lip product. Obviously it is a more sheer tinted lip balm type product, but it's that really nice sort of warm nude type of shade. So I really, really love the way this looks on me. And that will be sort of my warm nude lip option. And then I also chose out a gloss from NYX. I had to choose one of my NYX butter glosses. I just couldn't not choose one. And I actually chose the shade Creme Brulee, which is one I don't reach for that often, but it's a little bit more of a brighter, cool toned pink. So I thought it would be just a little bit different to have in my collection. It's very different to all of the other lip products that I chose. And then the last lip gloss that I chose is from e.l.f. This is in the shade Sheer Watermelon. This is like my favorite, more summery lip gloss. It's like obviously a bright watermelon shade. And obviously you can sheer it out to just be a sheer wash of color on the list, but you can also build it up to be pretty colorful. So I love this in the summer. It just gives that sort of bitten popsicle look to the lips. So those are all of my lip colors. I feel like that's a really good assortment of colors. I have my cool tones, I have my warm tones, and the neutrals in between as well. So I'm really happy with this sort of selection of colors, even though this is just a fantasy minimal collection. I feel like if I lost all my makeup and only had these products in my collection, I really wouldn't be mad and I'd be happy using all of these products every day. So let me know some of your sort of fantasy minimalist collection products down below in the comments from any specific categories, what products you would have to choose. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this. And I do post new videos about two to three times a week. So if you want to see more from me, make sure to subscribe. Also, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. I really hope you guys liked it and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.